I think a student first encountering chip carving is likely to have the same feeling I had when I started to study, and that was fear, because it's a relatively unknown style and quite different from all other forms of carving. But in a relatively short period of time, this abates, because you're using a technique more than an artistic education. And once you learn the technique of how to hold the knife and how to apply it to the wood, the anxiety disappears and the skill comes very quickly. I really became drawn to chip carving because I was impressed with the simplicity of it, with the wide range of application of it and how quickly you could get results with it. Chip carving lends itself to everything from the simplest of design to the most elaborate. You can take a single line and carve it on the edge of a piece of furniture and it'll enhance the furniture. You can take a plain box and carve the most elaborate design. There's no end to the kinds of carving you can do. Rosettes are a great example. The variations are endless. I have tried to conceive of where it might end. I have done hundreds of rosettes. None of them are alike. Hi, I'm Wayne Barton. I'm a wood carver and I specialize in a Swiss style of chip carving. Chip carving is an incise form of carving using very simple cuts to achieve a wide variety of motifs and designs. In the next 20 minutes we can't cover everything, but I would like to introduce you to the basics of how to start with borders, how to do a rosette, and then we'll take a look at some free form. On the shelves here, I have some examples of exactly what we're talking about. Here is a border based on a three-corner chip, the negative diamond border. Compare that to the lace border that's curved, and here's an example of a more elaborate lace border. This is the triple lace. Here's some examples of the rosette. This particular one is a swirl that was very popular in furniture in the Pennsylvania Dutch period. Here is a lace rosette. And this one here is a flower, but it's actually a rosette outside the confines of a circle. And you'll notice that this has the three corner chip around the border also. Here's a good example of how the two come together to decorate a whole object. You can see the flower rosette in the center, and we have the flower positive border motif around the edge. Compare that to the negative border that we had earlier. I'd like to show you one of my favorites. There's a dandelion. This is free form. It's a form found in nature. Notice how it moves. It's got a, a lot of life to it. And it's kind of cute. Compare the, the freedom and the movement of this to this very geometrical 